Next, a CBC News exclusive. Former Taliban hostage Caitlin Coleman is opening up for the first time about the new life she has carved out for herself and her children in the United States. She's 33 years old, an American citizen married to Canadian Joshua Boyle, and their story made international headlines. They were held captive in Afghanistan for five years. They returned to Canada more than 18 months ago, and life for her has been unsettled since. She has split from her husband. They're involved in a custody fight. She's also testified at her husband's domestic violence trial. He has pleaded not guilty to 19 charges of assault, sexual assault, and forcible confinement. In Ottawa this morning is our Judy Trin, who spent several hours speaking with Caitlin Coleman and is joining us live to tell us about that. Good to see you on this, Judy. Thank you. As I mentioned, an exclusive interview. What did she tell you? Well, and it recently was a wide-ranging have... interview, but uh, we are limited in what we can tell you because there is this ongoing criminal trial. But we can tell you about Coleman's dramatic run for the border. Now, as you recall, she has been living uh, in the northeastern United States, hundreds of kilometers from her husband, uh, Joshua Boyle. He's accused of hitting her, tying her up, and sexually assaulting her while they lived in Ottawa. He has pleaded not guilty to all these charges. Now, you also recall call that before they returned, they were held captive, as you said, by Taliban extremists for five years. They had three children in captivity. Now, those children were the center of a custody dispute. After Joshua Boyle uh, got released on bail, he sought access to the children. Uh, however, Coleman uh, sought temporary access, so temporary sole custody custody so she could take her children to the United States where she could be closer to her family. Uh, Boyle argued in court that she was mentally unfit to uh, parent her, their children. However, a judge disagreed and granted Coleman uh, that custody order. So last July, in the pouring rain, she gets a call uh, from her lawyer telling her, we have the custody order, you have to leave town now. So she walks in the pouring rain to her lawyer's office, gets this custody order, while her mom, sister, and aunt are back at her apartment packing her life in Ottawa. Then they all pile into this SUV, uh, and then they race for the border. But of course, when you have a packed SUV full of seven people overflowing with suitcases and boxes, you're going to get flagged for secondary inspection. Here's what happens next. They pull us aside into secondary and they look at the kids passports and then they say, you know, and they ask, what's the story? And I tell them the story and then they say, well, can we see the court order? And so I hand them the court order, um, at which point they take it, they process it. And then uh, the border agent comes back to me and she shakes my hand and she says, welcome home. Just part of your conversation, mm -hmm. and I was mentioning you spent several hours with her. So, uh, what more can we learn? I'm thinking about her life now with her children in the United States. Heather, she is busy. She has uh, four children, uh, one daughter. Uh, she was pregnant when she fled uh, for the border here in Canada. So that daughter is now about uh, 10 months old. So four children under the age of seven. They live in a uh, town home of, uh, t with two bedrooms. Their, their life is just full of activities. Her house is overflowing with toys as well as donated furniture from uh, friends and family. She spoke a little bit about what she hopes for her children and for herself. I feel like, you know, I've been given another chance and a lot of my life was spent under Josh's thumb, but I'm not under his thumb anymore. And I hope that I can, you know, pursue, someday pursue and finish my psychology degree. I want to see my children grow and I want to make sure that they have really good, happy lives. Now, Coleman's legal ordeal is far from over. Joshua Boyle's criminal trial has been suspended. The defense wants to question her on the couple's past sexual history. Her lawyer has appealed this decision, and the judge has yet to make a ruling on uh, whether or not he will allow it. Heather. Judy, thank you so much. Just before I let you go, where people can see more of this tonight on The National, is that correct? That's correct. All right. On The National, the exclusive interview Judy Trin has done with Caitlin Coleman on The National tonight. Thank you very much, Judy, You're on our program this morning.